Hello, hello. Today we date. Welcome to St. Pigeon Nations. Please enter your name. I shall stay my brand. My brand. Mm, my last name. Um, what last name should I put, guys? We're gonna put Rat. We should put Rat. I believe Rat is the only option. Ryota! Sorry, that was loud. Usually, you'd have been ready for uh, an hour by now. 22. Overslept? Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without meat inside. I heard myself after I said that, and I am going to continue to move on. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know? I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. Alright. I think we're in 2-3. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Er, I'm Nanani Kaz Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. What do you mean you seem to be? I specialize in math and physics. And also some other things. Sir, wake up! It's homeroom! I'm changing his voice. He slept with his eyes open? Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please, introduce yourself, Shudogone. Sayaka. What is the point? I have no wish to speak with the commoners. Do not think I am here because I wish to be. Oh, well, uh, I guess that's that. Hey, hey! Hey, I don't know why I forgot the third hey, but that was an odd pause. That's no good. Shiragone, la belle Sayuka. Do you want something from me? Nageki. <gasps> he looked away. Not really. Are you sure? Yes. I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying I'm interested in. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they were too a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay, bye, emo bird. Okay, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. <laughs> now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... You should not have been instructed not to approach me in school. Um, what voice do I give you? Oh, they're brothers! Come on, Sayaka. What kind of thing would you say to your own brother after all these years? My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please don't try to talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. Oh, <laughs> we're going now. Hey, wait. This is, uh, just a... I'm totally reading the text and not trying to go off on my own. I guess even if we're in the same school now, which son is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I overheard something juicy. The ever popular trendsetter is the ladies' man, Saiza Sazaki Yuya. Is Sayaka's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Let's do Kendo! I think their club room is on the ground floor off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. Coo coo! There is no pudding for a man. Or this is no pudding for a man. Coo! Okosan rejects it. It is a lie, a vicious falsification. He's dancing around on squished pudding. Not really. I want to join the team. Do you know where the captain is? 
He stands right before you. Okosan is the captain. A faster bird the world has never known. I never knew. Oh, well, um, here. My forms. Thank you. Coo! A dove never refuses a challenge. Commence entrance examination. Uh, I imagine you're well aware, but... The sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? If it were in the fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival, so it's always been in May. What are you doing? Uh, going to do, Ryota? I haven't decided, but... Probably the three-legged race. Somebody has to. Okay, thanks, Ryota. Cool! Okosan will handle the marathon. Indeed he will. That's Today's the sports festival. Wow, I had two seconds to think of it. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the... Library. Yes, let's seduce the pigeon. The other pigeon. That pigeon. Nailed it. May is practically summer already. It's too hot. I think I'll rest in the library. Ah, oh, much better. It's nice that the AC is on, but do we really need it? Nobody... No birdies in here today. It's not on. Oh yeah, I forgot to do his voice. It's you, Nageki! Oh, that's your name, I forgot. It's you, Miss Rat. <laughs> Whoa, he called me by my name! Rat! <laughs> they don't turn on the air conditioning until June. It just feels cold compared to outside. Oh, is that it? It would be a little strange to start spending money on to cool a barely used library in May. Anyway, aren't you going to participate in the um, festival, Nageki? Aren't you? Do you mind, Uwu? <laughs> Sorry. Not really. Um, listen, our class president got duped into being a cheerleader and... S Sorry. No, keep going. So I spent the day telling him about the festival and whatnot as he read. I don't know much, uh, how much he was listening to me, but he didn't seem to mind, I think. We get our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. Rat! Sir? Well done. You've gotten even better. Keep up the good work. That's right. Yes, sir. Success. I don't mind standing. You look like you mind. I don't. Oh, wait, you don't like being other near other birds? Is that it? He nods. They'll just... They'll just ignore me anyway, whether or not I go near. Nageki, are you being facetious? Bullied? Paranoid. I'm gonna ask him if he's being bullied. Shoto. He falls silent. If there's something wrong, I'd like to help. Today is a school festival. Our class decided to do a maid cafe. I'm not scheduled to work until tomorrow, so I have the day off. I don't have anything to do, so I guess I'll look around. Hmm, I wonder if Nageki's in the library today. Probably. Yes! I think I'll go buy something and hang out with him. <gasps> Yay, we don't even have to choose him anymore. We're seducing book boy. Yep, the door is open. Nageki? Close it. I mean, close it, please. <laughs> I knew you'd be here. The door. It's loud outside. Oh, sorry. You're staying in here even today? It's almost like this is where you live. Is there something wrong with that? Of course not. Kind of like a friendly ghost or something. It's reassuring to know you're here. Anyway, I brought you something. You're planning to stay here all day, right? What did... Cookies? <laughs> yep. The bird watching club was m selling bird-shaped cookies. Aren't they cute? Have some. Hmm. Thanks. Hearing him thank me makes me very happy, even if it's just a whisper. He even looks happier than usual. There's a lot of other stuff here, too. Uh, third years are doing a play, and the one class put together a god-tier haunted house. I was thinking of looking around a little bit more. Nageki, you want to come with me? No. Oh no, he looks angry. I, no. Thank you. Go ahead if you want. 
Well, alright. Sorry, I didn't mean to try to drag you out of here. I think he might actually live in here. Now that I think about it, I've never seen him anywhere else. Maybe he comes straight here as soon as he gets to school? I was sitting over there? Here it is! Yay! Oh? Somebody's written on the page I left open. The Congress dances, but does not progress- uh, still does not progress. Nope, I just added words in there. Well, that's funny, but don't write on people's books. Also, uh, Congress does dance and not progress. Don't leave books lying around with their page- uh, with their pages within the four- to the four winds. Nikeki? What? Are you surprised? Why are you su so surprised? I hadn't thought you'd still be here. Why not? The door was locked. <laughs> Don't tell me they locked you in. That would be terrible. It was? I hadn't realized. Well, if it was an accident, then that's alright. Maybe. Jeez, you're supposed to make sure there's nobody left inside before you lock the door. Anyway, I need to lock the door again. I should. Go home with Nageki, go home alone. Go home with Nageki! Hey, Nageki, let's go home together. No, thank you. He, he didn't even pause to think about it. Where do you live? I'll walk you. I'm fine, really. Don't worry about me. I always get mad when I suggest you go outside. Don't jump to... If I could, I'd... Oh, is he an actual ghost? No, not the pretty book boy. Don't worry about it. I'll lock the door, so just leave the key there. He's already reading again. I think I'm annoying him. Which brings us to our main topic. The observational reports on the human representative at St. Pigeon Nations. As you can see, while she meant to act as a goodwill ambassador, she... Fails to display sufficient intimacy with the birds. Oh, uh. We of the Hawk Party cannot overlook this situation. These reports only confirm what we already knew of human nature. We will execute the termination sequence. Adjourned. Coffee, anyone? Mmm, I love watching the stars at night. I can feel the excitement bubbling up from light years away. Yodeli, hee hoo. Huh? I think I just heard something. I just got murked? Oh. I will get murked, is what is happening. Oh, who is that? You don't need to know. It'll be over in two seconds. Eek! Uh, uh. Oh, I had an iPhone 4S, apparently. Wow. Ooh, and a halberd. I don't know why I had a ladder. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna try again. There's enough people here. Bonk. He bounces off an invisible wall, falls back into the library. That's too good to be a mime act. <gasps> no! As I thought, I can't leave. What? I can't leave this room. I wake up in this library. After a while, I lose consciousness and I wake up here again. And so it repeats. It's his limbo! I said I'd come to understand the truth by talking to you, Miss Rat. You've probably noticed, too, why no one else talks to me. That's because... They can't see you. You're quiet. They can't see you. I'm smart. I'm the only one who can see you? Probably. I forgot why I was here. How I came stuck to this place. I've been alone here with years for no... With years with... Mbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbbb
Oh, he's like see-through. Did you notice that? When did he become see-through? Look, he's like slightly transparent. No, book boy, no. My clock broke here. Its hands turning meaninglessly. Each day the same as the last. Alone, forever. No one is bullying me or ignoring me. I'm not here to begin with. I have no regrets. It was my choice to end my life here after all. But I think I will miss you, Miss Rat. If it wasn't like this, I wasn't like this, I would. I would have liked to talk to you more for longer. Hageki! I wrap my arms around him. I could hear him softly, but he's cold. At first, sitting here alone was painful, but I grew numb over time. I ceased to feel pain. That feeling I thought I had lost came back. Because of you. Uh, I'll talk to you enough to make up for everyone else, Nageki. Maybe one day you'll be able to leave. No. Why not? As I talked to you, I changed. I didn't notice just until recently. When you told me about the school, I was probably trying to take back the time I... I was never able to spend here. I never asked for you to, but you relentlessly told me everything that was going on here. I already felt like I spent a full year at the school, and now it's over. I think the clock's hands are going to stop soon. <gasps> no! He's becoming more transparent, Nageki! His head is right next to mine, but his voice sounds muffled and distant. When I look down, his feet are already disappearing. Nageki, wait! We've never talked like this before! I don't want this to be the last time! Don't cry, Miss Rat. I'm already long gone. There's no one here to mourn. But... There's just one thing I need to tell you before I go. No, I'm not gonna actually cry. Don't... Don't cry over a pigeon. The thing that I noticed. No! The secret that stopped my clock. No! No, don't say Nageki, I... As I filled up, I grew closer to disappearing. You're the one who made me disappear, Miss Rat. I can't stop it now. No! But I have so many things I want to tell you. You've already given me more than enough. I'm satisfied. The secret 